Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GSAT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Franklin has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you just kind of stop and break things down, when you consider the price was right there, and now all of a sudden you look at where the price is on the close, any rational person can say, yeah, the bulls definitely made a very nice move on the day. This of course leads to the very valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. In my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that's down here at 50 cents. Why is 50 so important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 50 cents. Any sort of closes blow it, or worse said, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of the range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or as let's say the price pulls back, behaves in this manner, and then works its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just quantifying that statement of make progress as once more 50 cents. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, the main level that stands out to me is essentially this kind of little miniature downtrending trend line right there. So keep an eye on that. I'm not gonna assign a numerical value to that because it, it does have that, an angle to it, meaning that lot or that value is gonna change as time passes by. But you know, give or take right around 54 to 56 cents uh, is kind of where that, you know, the line is currently falling at right now. But that'll be the key level of resistance. All in all though, no doubt about it, nice bounce today, nice move today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.